This video is sponsored by Conqueror's Blade. If you think you might enjoy the game, click on the link below to sign up and score an arsenal of free battle supplies after you hit level 15, which doesn't take long. Alrighty, on to the video! MVP, baby! In your face! I'm a humble winner. This is Conqueror's Blade, a war action MMO game. I'm not really sure what to classify this as. It's like Dynasty Warriors, but an MMO and you control your troops. That's the best I got. And this is a sponsored video, so this is not a review. I'm simply gonna go over what I've played and make some jokes. All right, cool. The game wastes no time whatsoever by just demolishing a city. Just the way I like my games to start. Mass Slaughter. This is actually a tutorial battle where you learn the basics of commanding your troops. Like having them follow you, having them climb ladders, having them attack your enemies. All of which is done with the touch of a button. If only it were that easy. Hey Kyle, follow me. Yeah, I don't want to. Okay. Hey Kyle, climb this ladder. Yeah, I don't want to. Hey Kyle, kill your enemies. Yeah, okay. All fade. Eh, one out of three ain't bad. When you're not telling other people what to do, you're probably taking part in the action combat, clicking to attack and using other buttons for your skills. After defeating the enemy warlord in the tutorial, the game gives you a quiz. Wait, a quiz? Man, I didn't study. My parents are gonna kill me. When you were a child, your family gave shelter to a knight who was lost. And then we ate him. The end. <laughs> What? What'd I say? Your answers to these questions determine which stats your character starts with. And then it's on to character creation. You're given quite a few face presets, hairstyles, eyebrows, scars, and beards to choose from, and then you're off after a brief cutscene. Either time has stopped or these guys are having some serious lag. They must be on dial-up. Once in game, you start going through some quests, running from NPC to NPC, giving you information on the story and teaching you how to play. Your first real quest is picking a weapon. Conqueror's Blade allows you to choose from 10 different weapons. A long sword and shield, a glaive, a samurai sword that I'm not gonna try to pronounce, a gun, a short sword and shield, a short bow, a spear, a halberd, two daggers, and a long bow. I tested most of these out, but found I enjoyed the spear the most, likely due to the fact that I've been listening to the Way of King series. If you've read it, you know what I'm talking about. After choosing a weapon, your training continues with more troop tutorials. Your troops are broken down into three types, melee, ranged, and cavalry. However, there are 55 different unit types in the game, coming from different eras and phases and such. So there's a bit to learn here. Luckily, these missions do a decent job teaching you the basics of the units you have to start with, covering things like charging the enemy, picking formations, capturing points, using resupply stations, etc. Eventually, you hit your first battle to help give you some real-world practice against some NPCs. And I made the right choice because the spear is an instrument of death. I remember playing this game back in beta and choosing a short sword and shield and being terrible. With the spear, however, I'm at least halfway to competent, and that's saying a lot for me. You'll continue along collecting new equipment for your warlord and eventually choosing a region to go live in, I guess. There's a difference between them in terms of what materials and benefits they offer, but I just chose one at random because that's how I roll. After arriving in my new town, I was given a mount, which in this game is actually much more than a simple means of transportation. Sure, you can play pony dress up with them. Ooh, pony dress up! No, we're not doing that. Aww. Anyway, that's not what I mean. Well, I mean, kinda is. Conqueror's Blade actually has mounted combat. Though while doing so, your skills are limited. So it's probably better to ride into battle, maybe get a hit in or two, and then dismount. Then came time for my first real battle. On my team, it's me, Gizlurk. Yoajigijikush. I think I just had a stroke. Sindirk and Norman R. Let's do this! Normal battles like this essentially consist of capturing one of three flags and attempting to hold it while also defeating enemy warlords and their troops. The more flags you control and more warlords you defeat, the faster your enemy's bar up here depletes. Whichever team hits zero first, loses. If your own troops suffer damage, which can be seen down here, then you can either heal them by visiting a resupply station, or if you've had too many die, troops do not respawn, so you can simply switch them out for a different set of troops. Most of mine died because I'm a good warlord or a bad one or something like that. It's actually a good thing to switch out troops every so often so that you level up each type of unit, which unlocks perks, bonuses, and such. As you fight and do quests, you'll level up which gives you stat points to distribute and skill points to put toward unlocking new skills. 
which are definitely what you need to defeat enemy warlords. Trust me, I know. Because I... <laughs> King... Rock! Bam! MVP, baby! In your face, Norman! Eventually, you'll get to the point where you learn about siege weapons. Like cannons, turrets, tar bombs, ladders, battering rams, siege towers, etc. These come into play in siege battles, where one team defends and another attacks. These seem to take a lot more strategies you have to avoid siege weapons and protect your troops. Also, these battles can get upwards of 15 v 15. That is a lot of troops. And once again, I... <laughs> Fucking rock! <laughs> Boom! MVP again, baby! Guys, I'm starting to get worried. I'm doing well at this game. Something is not right with the world. I'll stop here for now, but there's a lot here that I haven't talked about, like crafting, all the different attributes and perks you can give your troops, all the outfits you can wear, all the outfits your horse can wear. Ooh! <sighs> Kyle! I'm on it! The game is starting up its second season on December 19th with new Mongolian-themed units, new quests, a new set of challenges, new cosmetics, three new battlefields, new matchmaking features, UI changes, a new ranking system, player titles, and more. So if you think you might enjoy the game, make sure to click on that link below to sign up, and once you do, make sure to get to level 15 to receive your arsenal of free battle supplies. It contains a gold helmet, three battle unit XP cards, three battle hero XP cards, and three three arrow launcher siege weapons. So get in there and join the battle. But most importantly, remember, I King Run! Yeah, don't don't show this. Cut away. Cut away. Cut away!